Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Hello Baby episode 19 to 20. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone out there who's interested in my early access to all my content for the month of August, they're all available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Leon Morante. Uh. That's your name. Let's go. Calling for a patient, Leon Morante. So I wasn't hallucin hallucinating back then. Hey, care to share more details? L Lady Faye. When I went to pack up the stuff already wanted me to, Lady Faye was waiting there. I haven't had a chance to tell him since he's been excited to be with Gwen. But I hope I'll have the opportunity soon. But how does she know about Artie's son? It looks like this physical exam will take a while. Tell him I'll wait at his office. I need to get my iced Americano coffee too. <laughs> Is this bad news? Hello, baby. Episode 19. Time for Leon's checkup. Uh, first, we need to measure his weight and height. Uh -uh. Uh. It's okay, mom's here. <laughs> Leon's daddy's here too. Uh. Everything looks good, but we'll need to watch out to, to his weight for now. Uh? He's more than one kilogram over the ideal weight for his height and age. When he cries, do you tend to try feeding him first to quiet him down? Yes. Don't worry, this is common. Sometimes a calmer environment or a gentle touch is all that needed to make him comfortable. Also, we discourage the use of media for babies. Aside from the development issue, it's shown that prolonged usage of it can cause obesity in children. Uh? No more baby sharks for you, Leon. Daddy will just sing it to you instead. Cute. Well, it's better than not weighing enough, right? When Leon grows up, he will go train at the gym together. Uh? Gwen's imagination. Oh! No! Why not? Well, then, we'll be giving his shots now. Oh no. It's alright, my baby. Please look over here, Leon. I think he's going to cry. Oh. I used to have to come to these checkups either all alone or with Caro. <laughs> but this time, I never imagined something like this could be enjoyable. Good job. See you again, Leon. <laughs> See you soon, Mr. and Mrs. Morante. Uh, uh, yes, see you soon. Say bye-bye and thank you. Bye. I'd like to take you back home myself, but I have to go to work now. No worries. Uh, you need to focus on your work sometimes, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll call if I can visit again. Okay. Artie. What's wrong? Gareth, is it possible for us to stop at the nearest mall before heading back home? Of course. I'll inform Sir Arthur Wright. Uh, please don't mention it to Mr. Morante. Arthur's been putting in all this effort to look after us. So I'd like to give him some effort in return somehow. I was hoping to get him a present as thanks for taking such good care of us. Understood. I will gladly help you. Gareth, like I said, remember to take them home safely. Yes, sir. I'm off. Uh, yeah, take care. His expression. Is something wrong, Nana? Uh, it's nothing. We shall... shall we head back? 
Actually, Miss Gwen mentioned hmm. a present. I'm sure he'll be delighted with anything you'll give him. But that's a bit... Maybe something Sir Arthur can use? Something he can use? Huh. Hmm. Uh, I definitely can't afford anything expensive like these things. There's still more to look at. Don't get discouraged yet. Y yes. If you asked some time ago if I'll be willing to do something like this, I probably would have been annoyed at the thought of it. Arthur has been always been the bad guy to me. I mean, who comes into someone's life without life out of nowhere with a threatening lawyer? And then the tension we first met again? I really thought he'll plan on taking Leon completely away from me. And he could have. He has way more power and resources than I do. I've been scared this whole time because of all that. I'm starting to wonder if hiring Lance is even necessary. I think Carol may just be overly worried. No, I think it's too early to tell. But he's been doing nothing but proving to me that he has no intention of taking Leon away. I never made the effort to really get to know Arthur. I think Sir Arthur really loves his hair. Now that you mention it, his hair? But now I have other people who are willing to help me out. Then I'll take this. <laughs> Thank you, Nana, and you too, Gareth, for accompanying me today. One thing's for certain, at least. I'm having fun again. Don't mention it. And it's all thanks to Arthur and the people he's brought into my life. My anxiousness is melting away day by day. Honestly, I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing since everything's going smoothly. I wonder if this'll last. It looked like you were very busy with something else today, big bro. Faye, to be continued. Oh, man. It looked like you were very busy with something else today, big bro. <laughs> uh. Bay. Hello, baby. Episode 20. What are you doing here? What's with the cold reception? Aren't you happy to see me? <laughs> I can't believe you. I'm only here because all the complaints that you've been skipping out on work recently. <laughs> are you done? I heard from Nana that you already knew. I didn't mean to get in your business. I was out shopping when I saw you with some unknown woman. I figured it was someone else at first. I know, right? But the child is a complete carbon copy of you. Then I stopped by your home to confront you first, but turns out you were staying with that woman and kid. That must be the reason for your absences at work, huh? Hmm? Who's a lucky lady? She's a cute though, so are you the lucky one? Mind your own business. Does Aunt even know about this? Definitely, ne definitely not. She's that one person who should never know about this. Thought so. Either way, this is huge. You, with a baby, you always had a large sense of responsibility in you. So this seems like the perfect fit, Kuya. Kuya means elder brother. It's a Filipino word for elder brother. Ever since father died, you've been so zoned in with taking over the company that you didn't have time for anything else. Honestly, I didn't think you'd settle down after Elaine... Uh, I mean... It's alright. So, 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 when do you plan on telling mom about this? It's not like I've been planning to keep this a secret forever. I just wanted to get some things figured out first. 
With all of our misunderstandings, I haven't even been able to tell Gwen about my condition yet. I need to tell her about it eventually. Then I'll be able to really express to her why Leon is so important to me. But a part of me doesn't want to be crushed again over something like that. Again. You mean the girl hates you? Uh, uh, bullseye, huh? It's all right, dear brother. Now tell me everything from the start. I'll help you. Dear Lord, of all the family members to find out first, why Faye? Could it have been someone wider? <laughs> what is it, Anna? Nothing. I'm just curious what Artie's reaction is going to be when you give it to him. Thanks. I hope he may find my simple present satisfactory. By the way, about earlier, is everything really alright? Ring, ring. Uh, of course, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Hello? Is something the matter? What about your work? Are you sure? Okay, then. I'll see you later. He said he'll visit again later. Really? That already? Are you sure you're not bothered by his late sudden visits? I don't mind. But what kind of food does he usually like to eat? I'm just returning the favor since he's made the breakfast and all. Look at the way they smile. Oh my Artie, I think you're making some real progress. Good for you. I can't believe she actually agreed. Oh. <laughs> my mouse died. Hold on, guys. I was like, why isn't it, like, moving? For real? I can't wait to meet her. My sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Uh, do you think she'll agree to that, too? Being called like that? Trust me on this, Guya. I'm a woman with five years of marriage experience after all. I don't know why, but I hate how you bragged about it. But before we head to the main event, we'll have to take care of all the business stuff first. After all, that's technically the whole reason I'm here. Empty. It's a miracle you're on time, but I'll take it. It's been a while, Mr. Attorney. We'll need to talk later, by the way. Yes, sir. These are the sellers, Mr. and Mrs. Cruz. Uh, I'm glad we've been able to get everything worked out smoothly. Auntie, it's been a while. Mano, a gesture as a sign of respect to elders. Good afternoon. Mm, these people. Now, we just need Mrs. Cruz's sister to sign off on the agreement. When do you think you can get her to join us? <laughs> I've seen them before. She was harassing Gwen in public, and if I remember correctly, she's her half-sister. That woman from earlier, she's my half-sister. And you're telling me they're the one who owned the land that we need to acquire? To get Dad's last housing project started. I ended up staying with them for a while after Dad died, but I guess I wasn't welcome. We'll be off then. If you need anything, feel free to contact me. Please take care. Bye. Bye. You were so brave today, Leon. Good job. Did you enjoy getting your checkup with Dad? Actually, me too. But that is going to be our secret for now, okay? He said he'll visit again later. We should start getting ready. Pause. Pause. Hold on. Before we finish it. No, I'll talk about it after this. Little by little, his sudden visits are starting to feel more like a natural part of the day. <laughs> One I look forward to. That'll be all for today. Hopefully the next time we meet, we can be our last. We'll like to proceed with this project as soon as we can. Yes, ma'am. Wait. 
This land doesn't even belong to you, so explain by our legal. As explained by our legal. That is correct, sir. I can help you, but on one condition. It's imperative that you apologize to Gwen. Apologize sincerely to her and reflect on your own action. I know about your situation with her. Darling? Including the ways in which you weren't very kind, to put it lightly. I understand. And it'll be better for you to do it sooner rather than later. So much tension here. Camilla, darling. <laughs> he isn't really a bright one, huh? Mentioning Quinn casually like that. Who wouldn't think she'd be able to catch a guy like him? Now, I'm 100% sure that's our guy. That's the father of Gwen's kid. <laughs> oh, we'll see who end up, ends up apologizing to whom should this little scandal become public. Knew it. Hmm. I knew it. I knew it. So one, okay, so here's my theory here. <sighs> Gwen is going to receive this, right? She's going to hear about it. And she's going to think, is that why he got really close to her? Like, is that why Artie got close to her and, like, sweetened her up and stuff? So she would sign off because he knew this whole time that, you know, her dad, who passed away, owned this land that he needs to expand the company or whatever. She's going to think that. She's going to think that he was using her and trying to sweeten her up and stuff so she can have access to that land to you know to win her affection she's gonna feel so betrayed right because one he's he's gonna wait for her half sister to tell her and apologize to her and then give like the news but he does not realize how evil this lady is so she's about to spread it to the media and she's going to play it out as it, like, oh yeah, so he knew this whole time. He's just using you and it's going to break Gwen's heart and they're going to have a bumpy relationship. Like that's what I'm thinking here. It's going to get really bad. But all right, guys, if you guys enjoyed my what to reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on what y'all think is going to happen. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.